everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat, and I made one more really quick um, Easter project that I'd like to share with you. It's really simple and something that you can do quickly if you would like to get something to your children's teacher or something like that. So give me one second and I'll bring it, to, or I'll bring it over to share with you. Alright everyone, this is the project that I made. It's just a simple uh, mason jar. I can't remember which size these are. I'll check and I'll put it in the description box. They're the same size that I used at Christmas for the Hershey Kisses. I filled this one up with chocolate Easter eggs. And I used some ribbon from my stash. Now I prefer 5 8 inch ribbon, but I didn't have any pink. 5 8 inch ribbon so I used this quarter inch uh, pink ribbon that I had I made a small bow to go on it and then just put a a pink pearl in the center for that and to match all of the pinks here I used a extra special collection from Nitwit Nitwit Collections is and it's just called extra special and I will link it for you in the description box they've got some really cute bunnies and different chicks but the chick uh, image here matched the colors better in the jar so I went with that now my daughter picked up a very small bag I can't remember where she found it at but it was a very small bag of the um, chocolate eggs it took two bags because I mean they were tiny two bags to fill this jar but I think if you buy a bag at the store, you could probably fill two jars of them with one bag. And so it's a really great gift to give your kids as teacher before, you know, Easter comes around. Or pass out to your co-workers. I mean, like I said, if you already have the jars, it's a very inexpensive project. I used a two-inch circle punch for the top. And like I said, I used a digital collection, but if you have some really cute Easter paper or some spring paper, just use your two inch punch for the top. And what I did for my ribbon, I used um, this eighth inch score tape and I um, adhered it to the ribbon and I used my um, bone folder to really press it down to make sure it stuck really well and measured what size what length of ribbon I needed first then just uh, took the pulled the backing off and attached it to the rim so I mean you can take it off if you know they give you your jar back and you want to reuse it for another project so I mean but it's going to stick it's not going to come off but you could pull it off if you wanted to and reuse the jar for something else so it's a really easy project something that you can do and share with a lot of people and I know they have um, pastel colored Hershey Kisses that would work in here and you know I will link the um, Christmas video that I did so that you can see how I where I tell in there how I layered the Hershey Kisses in but because you you know if you want to put something on the bottom of the Hershey Kisses like Happy Easter or you know here comes Peter Cottontail or whatever you want you would layer them in so that you could see the writing on the bottom. But if you just want to fill it, you know, just drop your Hershey Kisses in there. And then do your paper to match. And you've got a really quick, simple, and easy Easter project that you can make with your kids. They can help. And their teachers would love it. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I'm going to do my best to answer them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.